Welcome back to Phoenix Point, folks. We are heading into a haven defense of the disciples of Anu here. And over here, we are heading up to a mission uh, exploration site here, which is the university where uh, Simon Senior did something or, or other. But first, let's deploy in here. The threat level is medium, it's daytime. 16 attacking strength, 15 defending strength. And let's start the mission. We are taking out Dronning uh, Anne, or Queen Anne in English. Uh, and she's a level 1 priest. Jazz, who is level 1 sniper. Babe, who is a level 7 sniper assault. Uh, Robert, who is a level 5 uh sniper heavy alex who is a uh, assault berserker and our mutog which is pretty much useless in my opinion but uh, it's going in anyway <clears throat> and it's half dead too so yeah uh, now i want to just check on you actually you Training. I think I want to take extreme focus for him to Overwatch uh, for one uh, for for two uh, action points. So let's deploy the squad. Team to the rescue. Let's get this done. Hopefully without losing anyone because we have lost too many people lately. We've been lo losing soldiers left and right. Okay, so what do we have? We have... We need to defend this thing. We don't see any enemies. So let's move in. Let's move you over here and see what we see. All right. Ooh, there's a Chiron there. Ooh, and it's one of the nasty ones uh, with uh, explosive bomb abdomen. That's something that we need to take out. Fast. Very fast. So... Uh, why don't you come over here? And then we'll send you over this way as well. Hopefully it hasn't seen us yet. Those two should be able to handle that. Then we'll send these three in to handle whatever is going to be attacking this thing. So, move up here. Receiving loud and clear. Sprinting Move up position. here. And... And there's the priest. Who will move up next to you. Okay. Turn. Oh, it's attacking that thing. 200 damage to it. That's quite a bit. There's a Chiron there, or an Arthron there. So, you move over here, you will be able to see that Arthron. Take out its launcher arm. What else did it have? Uh, so now it just has a pincer and a spitter head. So that's pretty good. You come over this Moving way. Now. 
can see it, but we won't do much damage from that distance. So we'll just overwatch, do a short overwatch uh, this. Then there's you guys. Now you can mark for death. Let's first see, can you be that thing? You can. Well, let's mark it for death. We came. And take a shot at its abdomen or its leg. Like this leg here. Alright. That's one leg disabled. Quick aim again. And shoot. And let's disable its other leg. Apply some more bleed. Okay. And there's you. You can quick aim as well. Let's just Ready see. How engage. is your aim down here? Not terrific but it's okay and with quick aim it's better aiming so let's take that shot quick aim again and finish it off ready to engage and that's that threat gone all right that's that threat gone. And then there's you. I think you'll just run, run up into cover. Can't really do anything from that far away. Get in here and cover. And then there's our new tog. Let's send that over this way. I'm really happy that we took care of that Chiron quickly. Uh, yes, and the turn. He won't be able to do anything with the spitterhead. Triton. There's another. Hmm. Now that costs two action points. This will cost two action points as well. So, and we can't leap all that way. Now, do I really want to do that? Is the question. So you could plan? dash up. and smack this guy twice. Um, you come over here, what can you one see target. to shoot? Uh, this Arthron. Eh. Oh. If you dash up twice, and instead of s smacking him two times with this thing, then shoot him with the uh, mercy. And there's the priest. Who we could send in here and overwatch channel open let's try it we'll dash up here i need an angle yeah you sure do uh
Everything has 20 armor. So you know what? How about you come in here? And we'll do some armor shred. No choice but to keep going. And now you can take this guy out. Maybe. Ooh, the armor only has ten. This might actually be enough to kill it. Nope. Exactly not. But there's 10 health left, but it's also regenerating 10. So the question is, is it dead or is it not? Hmm. So it says that it's dead, right? Or does it just say that I'm, I'm gonna kill it? No, I'm gonna kill it. Receiving loud and clear. Then there's you guys. You just need to run and get in here and there's something in there as well. Excuse me, I needed to sneeze big time there. I'll come in here and open this. That'll, that'll give you some... Uh, well, one will point. Yay. Disciples of Anu Acid Handgun Mag. Oh, that's going to be nice. And there's you. You come in here. Target in sight. And there's a uh, Arthron down there as well. Then we do have our priest here. Who could come up here. Can you hit this thing with this grenade? Nope. Is the answer to that. So... Why don't you just overwatch? Here. Hopefully it decides to attack the Mutog instead of the... Um, if instead of our Berserker. That would be good. But it did. Excellent. Alright. So I think we end this this time. Channel open. Now you pick that up. Uh, Heading in here. Shoot this thing in the face. The face. There you go. Moving now. Move away a little bit. You won't be able to see him no matter what. But you. See him? You can. Let's go for it. Nice. But he's not dead. Hopefully, 
he will be with a poison tongue. Yeah. That'll kill him. There's 20 health left. He's bleeding for 10. He's taking acid damage for 60 or poison damage for 60. So it's pretty good. There's you. Don't have enough will points to quick aim, unfortunately. But can you? No. case all right his face is disabled let's just take another shot at him couldn't connect the shot and then there's you you could actually quick aim but it won't help right there No matter what, this will kill him. Ah, oh, it didn't. It didn't kill him. Man, I was sure that that would kill him. Well, he's dead. And our Mutog is almost dead. Let's see, can you... On the double. Let's come in here. Aiming. Take that out. Down. All right, and that's the mission. And no casualties this time. Thank God. Gonna level up for Alex, and fortunately these guys didn't get a level up. But uh, let's head back to the Geoscape. All right, Haven saved. We got some much-needed uh, materials and some uh, helmets, some ammo, an iconoclast, which we really wanted. So that's nice. Very very good. Okay, let's. I mean, the Mutog is basically dead and also useless, so. Alright, Time Vault, Exploration Site. According to his notes, Randall Symes III discovered that his great grandfather had buried a trove of documents and samples, largely belonging to the Phoenix Project's predecessor organizations. In Oglethorpe University's Time Vault. There's little left of the university itself, but the time vault still exists. It's been opened presumably by Symes, but is still safe from Pandoran infestation. Let's retrieve the contents. At this point, Symes' notes become hard to make sense of. He seems to have investigated an archaeological site of some kind and noted down several fragments of antediluvian writing, which led him to wherever he went next. We would need to reconstruct the writing to figure out his final destination. New research available. Cool. The riddle. The writings of my great-grandfather recount his mission to Oglethorpe University and the Time Vault. It was here in 1936 that he deposited the files, sealed aluminium containers that were locked away to be opened in a thousand years. Did he know what those files contained? I'm not sure. He was a wily old devil. I have the documents before me now. They prove what I had previously only suspected. A technologically advanced hominin civilization existed on this planet long before Homo sapiens came along. They flourished until something destroyed them. But some of them must have survived. Or where did the stories come from? Somehow, they must have won. I know that some of my operatives think I've lost it. It doesn't matter. I have to keep searching. If I find the answer, it'll have all been worth it. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Okay. Now. 
I'm gonna go up and do this. And I definitely don't want to do the Pandoran Citadel yet. Uh, there's a scavenging site there. I think I want to head up to the 6th initiation and do that with the squad, but... And the team at 2 is already moving. Uh, let's just check the research. And to the Luvian proto-civilization. We'll queue that up. Advanced acid tech is almost done. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now you... Uh, head up here. You are back at base. The... Mutog, where is it? Uh, it's over here in the vehicles. You are going back to Phoenix Point. And then we're bringing Pete, who doesn't have a weapon. Uh, you know what? We're not bringing Pete. We're going to see if we can't hire someone else. Uh, let's do your training. Uh, ready for action. Might be good. Two willpower. Bloodlust. Resourceful. Plus two strength isn't bad. Plus two strength isn't bad at all. Uh, we'll do ready for action. And we'll do resourceful. And then you'll get a point in speed, I think. Okay, no one else has leveled, right? No. The peat. You're at 18 of 100. That'll take a while. Um, let's see, who could we go and recruit? I mean, if we head out to this scavenging site, and then head somewhere and recruit someone. Um, what do you have? An assault. What do you have? Uh, under attack. Maybe we should go help those guys, but I think they'll have lost before we can make it. Let's try. And... Manticore is on its way. They... Hmm. Can we make it in time, do you think? We'll try. Let's try. Yeah, so we'll defend there, we'll defend there. If we can make it in time. All right, threat level high, light level day, enemy new Jericho. Uh, they have 11 attacking strength, but we'll get really good stuff out of it. So we will uh, head in and defend them. But let's first take a look here. So we want these guys to get up to 50, right? We want these guys to get up to 75. And New Jericho... I suppose we're going to leave it be, just say, you know what? New Jericho are not going to be our friends. Which is a shame, because... They seem pretty interesting, but so do the, do the others. I'm a little bit worried that the disciples of Anu turn out to be the actual aliens that we're fighting. That could well be. Who knows? Who knows? Now, hmm. uh, let's see. We did have someone here. Who 
Done. Double clicking. I'm talking to my mouse. Uh, it's our assault here. Because we got a iconoclast. We'd rather bring that. Is it, that's just a better weapon. It's just a better weapon. Okay. Neural pistol. All right. Go back. You escape. Ooh. That's a technician. I would love to get one of those soon. I would love to get one of those. Just to see what he is. Okay. Well, I guess uh, in the next episode we will head in and defend this uh, Sinedrian uh, haven over here if we make it in time. Well, uh, is it the Manticore that made it down there? Yeah, it's the Manticore that make it, made it down there. So we'll head in and defend this Sinedrian haven. And then probably defend the other one as well. Uh, over on the other side of the world with the uh, Tiamat, if we make it in time. But it's going to be in the next episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.